Hey guys. This is my boyfriend. Guys. It's me. Guys, he's on the channel now. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Um. So, I wish I had a mic. No. <laughs> you want to go get one of mine? It's hard to... Okay. I'm going to interview you. You're all backwards. I am? This has to be at the front. What's the difference? The dog. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So tell us about yourself. Tell me about you. Who are you? Well, I'm Tyler. I'm um, 22. I came from California. It's where I grew up. Um, I really miss the beach. I haven't gone in so long. But... I've got a bachelor's degree in music, specifically like commercial music, and play guitar, write my own stuff, and I go bouldering a lot. I love me some rock climbing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's give me my mic back. I'm sorry. Give me my mic. <clears throat> okay, so as we've learned, this is my boyfriend. What's your name again? Tyler. First thing I'd like to address. My name's Tylee. His name is? Tyler. His name is Tyler. Um, and yes, my dad's name is also named Tyler. Let's not talk about it, okay? It's fine. I don't care. Nobody else cares. My dad's name Who? is actually Richard, so Who let's cares? just not Who? talk about it. Who cares? Who cares? I, not us. I can't find them. Nope. Zero. No askers. Okay, guys. Back at it again with our... I've got questions. So... I posted on my story yesterday, and I asked if anybody had any questions specifically for us. I've got a couple of fun ones that'll be interesting to talk about, but first let's just like answer the normal questions about us and our relationship. So, first question is how long have we been <clears> together? <throat> but a year and a month? A year and a month? Almost? It'll be a year and a month and um, like a day? week. For about two weeks. Yeah, a year and a, in a month and like but a week and a half. Week and a half. We made it a year. Ooh. Uh. Yay. Okay. So we've been together for over a year now. Exciting. So when we got together, I told myself that I wouldn't put him on the YouTube channel until we hit a year. And now we're at a year. And we're going to be together forever. So he's allowed on the channel. Because if True. you're if you're a long time member of my YouTube channel, once upon a time I did put my boyfriend on, what in one one YouTube video, and that was a mistake because then we broke up. Hey, there. And it's still up because it was a good video and I got good views. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, um, anyway, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here. So, how did we meet? Let's talk about how we met. Um, so we first met at a party. Yes. Uh, not the one at my place, but it was a, um, wasn't it a different party or is that the first place? No, that was the first place. Okay. Um, <laughs> I had a friend over and we made, um, like some spiked orange Julius drinks and had a bunch of people over. Yeah. So and one of my friends, uh, I don't know if we were really friends, but, um, <laughs> one of the guy I was making the drinks with, his name was, uh, Cameron and he had a friend named Gigi. And which, which, if you know my channel, she's my best friend. Yep. Gigi and her Everybody. best friends. And so Gigi came over and was so, like, Hey, come with me. Yeah, and, so to yeah. kind of dive more to it, sorry, not to cut you off. No, you're good, you're good? Keep going. Yeah. Okay, to, to kind of like dive more into that, so into like specifics, is I love memories. I love knowing all of the things that happen in specific. So it was December of 2020. Two. Two, 2022. December of 2022. I feel like forever. Which <sighs> is insane, okay? Because that's like when we official, like we like actually met, but like we do the key to the quotations because it's like, we didn't hang out. Like, we didn't actually meet me. Like, be like... I just oh. saw you, and I was like... Yeah, I hey. saw him. He saw me. I didn't really think much of it at the time. Yeah, I didn't either. I'll be honest. I didn't think much of it in that day. Because, to be honest... I don't know. I was just focusing on making sure people weren't... Cuckoo. Cuckoo bananas, and I was going to get kicked out of my apartment. Yeah, so... Oh, so, anyways. I had a dance recital. Recital? That's gross. Don't say that. A dance concert <laughs> that same day and then I went to a thing like a party not a party like a ballroom thing extravaganza like, extravaganza I was in a cute little outfit it was awesome I went with my friend Bree then Gigi texted me and was like hey come over to 
like this house, this like apartment, like Cameron's throwing a party like here, like you should come over and hang out. And I was like, yeah, girl, I'm down. Like I'm at this thing right now, but like I'll come over when I'm done. So I went home, changed, and then I met her at this apartment. It was his house. It was his house. House, apartment. Apartment. Uh, oh, I went over there. Nothing was to it, but here's my favorite part is that I ha I made a TikTok next to his um, washer and dryer. How you feel is not my problem. In the hallway? Yeah. I made a TikTok at that party. Damn. No, no joke. I feel like I've seen this before. Zero jokes. You have seen it. I did, in fact, make a TikTok, and I find that really kind of silly that I made a TikTok there before we got together. Anyway. It's right outside my room. Huh? That was right outside my room. Yeah, right outside his room. Spooky. So that's when we met, but I think, would you agree that, well, you have to agree that something didn't happen. We went off to Christmas break <laughs> after, after that party, because it like, I have the concert, my, my dance concert, and then we leave for Christmas break. So we left, and we did not see each other again until January, like mid-January or something. Yeah. And then we started hanging out. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Yeah, I, I went to Gigi's place, and you were living there too. Yeah. And I was just like, I was like, damn, who is she? Me. And then, yeah. So, so, so give me more context on your rundown of getting to know little me. I want to know. Um, I even though I already know. So, I mean, like, when I first saw you, I was just kind of like, yeah, she's pretty cute. I was like, she's short, that's cute. <laughs> Shorter than me. I'm 5'11". I'm, I'm 4'11". Um, yeah, I was just like, yeah, she looks really cute. She looks really, like, hee-hee silly. Hee-hee silly. Yeah. Hee-hee silly? Yeah. Silly hee-hee. He silly he. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll give some extra context about us getting together. Um, cause the next question is what was our first date and I'll let you talk about that, but okay. I'm going to talk about leading up to it. I'm going to talk about the, the parties that we had oh. because I feel like the era that we were in, in that moment was like me and my best friend Gigi were living in this apartment and our roommate had moved out, moved, our roommates had moved out and there was a whole thing with this other girl living with us for a minute, but like, we don't really talk about that. We were very much in our like party era like let's not talk about it but it was like, just them two it was in the entire house yeah so it was literally just us living in this apartment so it's like and it was like it was a house it wasn't even an apartment complex that had like ras that would come and check on oh, you no, no one was, was checking like, on you it was yeah i had nobody it was just a was house by yourself anything. you had upstairs neighbors but it didn't matter it was like, not it wasn't was a it wasn't a school apartment it was just a living apartment yeah. for the town we got kind of lucky with that but also it was kind of expensive so it was the best party place it was the best party place so we were in our party era and I remember one of the parties we had, like when after you know you guys started getting invited, like your kind of group of people started getting invited a lot more. There was one where you brought your switch, and glad I had that thing. And I haven't played it in months. I was like, he 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 he. he. I'll play with you. And you were like, I was just like hanging around watching whatever, and you were like, <laughs> do you want to play with us? And then was you, this in my place or your place? This is my place. My place. No, it was my place. It's right. my place because. And then you were like, you want to play with us? And then you put me on your team. This was at my place. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it no, was. No, this was I my... I distinctly remember. No, I distinctly... Okay, <sighs> <laughs> we've had a lot of parties like this, okay? But this one... It's true. I remember because it was at my place, because we played bowling, bowling first. I mean, Isaac was playing with us. And then, and then, and then we did bowling, and I was on your team, and then we did golf. And then you were like, if you hit it in... Like this close, I'll buy you McDonald's. And Gigi was like, no, she's lying McDonald's. And then you're like, okay, if you get this closer, and then I'll buy you Subway. And it took you months to actually buy me Subway. That was my way of getting a date with you. I was like, if you beat me, I'll get you Subway. See? And, okay, and then as soon as that happened, the next day I was like, I was like, he likes me. I fucking knew it. I was like, this guy likes me. I knew it. I knew he was trying to get a date with me. Yes. Yeah. You know, and that shit worked. And then nothing really happened for a minute. And I was like, bird. And then, I want to say the next thing was The Last of Us. Yeah, um, my favorite game was The Last of Us. So when the show came out, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. So, 
it kind of became a thing in our apartment floor and like some friends, everyone would come over. Um, cause I had bought a, um, I worked at Walmart my first two years of school. So I had some, I had some money. So I bought a big TV and a sound bar. I saw I was like, everyone just come over here. We got good quality. We're going to watch it here. So we had, we would get like 15, 20 people at this place at my apartment, just watching last of us. Um, and you would come with. Yeah. And there was one night where I was like, I'm going to try and make a move. See what happens. And I put my arm around you. And you didn't even like nestle in. I'm sorry. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. You just stayed like nervous. back to the okay. couch. And one of the first, well, also remember when, when, um, because we got, me and Gigi got invited to start watching it with you guys after the first episode. You had already watched it. It's true. So then you watched it with me at my place. And remember uh, when Gigi was down the hallway fucking laughing, listening to Lizzie McAlpine? Because ceilings came on the radio. Because she was listening, she was listening to ceilings and just like, Literally hysterically laughing. I'm almost positive. Or was that during the menu? I had, we're getting off. We're getting off track here. Okay. We're already 13 minutes in. Okay. Okay. Back on track. That happened, right? We're doing the Last of Us thing. I get to see him every single Sunday now. It's awesome. I'm having a grand old time. Eventually, we watch the menu. We do that. It's kind of like a little pre-date kind of situation. Weird like, fucking movie. Weird, weird movie. Okay. First date. First official date. We do what? We go to a concert. We went to a unspecified venue. A yeah. pretty small one, but we went to a venue and did you propose the idea? You planned all yes, of it, didn't I, you? Yes, I proposed the idea and I think like you, we kind of picked out like the restaurant together. So, cause we obviously were living in this small town. So we drove two hours to get to the city to go to this concert. And we got there like super early and we ended up at the mall. Mm -hmm. And we went to the Lego store. God, Lego store was awesome. And then we went to a restaurant, and then we went to this concert. A really good restaurant. I got a burger, and it had like flatbread for the buns, and I was like, the hell is this? But it was actually really good. Kind of gas, though. It was kind of gas. But it was really, really good. It was really fun. It was, yeah. And like, I'm musicians. So like, when I'm at shows, I just like kind of sit in the back, just like watching, like, yeah, ooh, that was cool. Yeah, that was a cool little look there. Yeah, ooh, ooh, the little harmonies there. Mmm. I like the, ooh, I like these chords going on. Yeah. Singer's pretty good. Uh, lead guitarist could do some work. Yeah, these are good guys, you know. And I go, like, just, like, pure, not, like, analysis mode, but very just, like, just, like, watching what they're doing. Because, you know, it's, like, I play shows, and I'm, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, these guys are good. Yeah, these guys are cool. I just listen. I don't really like to mosh or jam too much and so we were just chilling in the back just listening yeah and i was just like i felt a little awkward because like i was like oh she's gonna think i'm weird that i just like watch these shows and not like jam out and have fun which it kind of depends if i have like friends that are playing then i'll like jam out and have fun to like be a sportive but sat there with my hands in my pockets just kind of like vibing just enjoying it i look over at you and she like do a little little vibe and you really vibing with me and i was like hell yeah she's into this so, I was a little worried that I was gonna be perceived as like lame or just like, wow, this guy doesn't even like have fun or mosh or jump around or anything like that. Which I find, I'm still just like using this mic, I have to. Anyways, so, um, I feel like it's really funny because I, I, I was just like, hee <laughs> hee. You're a little music nerd. I was swooning the whole damn time. So that was our first and date. You, she wore the same exact shirt. I did wear this shirt on our first date, and I wore That's a vivid memory of my um, denim vest. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think you wore these jeans too. Light wash jeans. I probably did wear these jeans because I don't own any other clothes. Yeah. Okay. I'll put your wardrobe down. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so that was our first date, just very simple, but it was really good, and I feel like, I mean, shit worked. We lasted this long. Yeah. 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 Okay. Questions for us. Shall These are we? from um, people. submissions from people. First one is, what's your opinion on couples therapy? Um, I mean, like any therapy is always good because it just teaches you how to how to navigate things. I think is the easiest way to say it. Mm. Like how to navigate things in the most efficient and best way possible for like a long term uh, success. So I mean, like. I'd be open to couples therapy. I don't think we need it because I think we handle things very healthfully. We've never argued. We've never yelled at each other. Yeah. Um, we we really always well. talk things out, even when it's hard. So, and we're always very honest. Mm -hmm. 
I'll second and that. Very, we, we, it's, we listen to each other and we don't get our own personal emotions mixed up with the other person's. Mm -hmm. And we don't take it personally. I think that's sad. Mm -hmm. I think we're so really good about I, that stuff. I think we're very good about it, yeah. I completely agree. I completely agree. I think, I think when, if it becomes necessary, like, if it ever became necessary in our relationship, I'd be very much open to it. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so your turn for the next Sorry. one. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I agree. I completely agree. <clears throat> um, what's your favorite thing about each other? Um, mine would be your goof and your brain. Because, one, your brain, because I feel like that just makes up who you are. And that, so, you, so basically the same thing as personality. I just Real. love you mm. in all aspects. But I think brain. Oh, no, but I also want to say your heart. Just say my soul. Your soul. That, that encapsulates your soul. all of it. Okay, yeah. your soul. Your soul. You stole my answer. Fuck you. I'll give you another one. Uh, your silliness. Because you are so fucking funny and silly for no reason sometimes. I think that shit cracks me up. I love it. Good. Well. She doesn't think she's funny. But she is. I know I'm funny. She's really funny. Um, what's the thing that made you realize this was long term? Uh, when I could visualize myself 50 years from now and nothing, um, nothing changed. And 50 years from now, it's still her and it still makes sense. My nose nostrils just got so big. Um, that's the biggest thing is like visualizing the future with you and it just makes sense. And it's just like, it's like a well duh, you well know? Well duh. Oh, it just make, it just it's makes a completely sense. a well duh. I'm going to second that, but I'm also going to say that like, I feel like not very long after our relationship started i already knew like i was just like i was like yeah this is it this mm -hmm. is it this is the one this is i'm done but you were sure a lot uh, a lot quicker than i was i always say that from my perspective like i kind of fell in love with you like it's like that saying like falling asleep little by little then all at once that's kind of how it was for me yeah yeah it's just it's the same thing it's just like I, I, like, I can see us 50 years from now. I know exactly what it's going to look like. Yeah. All right, and let's go to the next one. Um, wait, did you say the last one? No, so, we have the, this one right here. Oh, no, I'm saying did you say it or is it my turn? It's your turn. Oh, who is the black cat and who is the golden retriever? Black cat. Golden retriever. Damn straight. Look at us. I can go from very, very, like, cozy and sleepy <laughs> to, like rambunctious and stupid and energetic really fast. Yeah, that kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still holding this. Take this away. It's your turn. Go to a date idea. Bouldering. Bouldering, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bouldering, bouldering 100% of the time. Bouldering. Because we bouldering. don't have to pay for it. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, yeah, because it's we either super cheap, cheap. It's super cheap or like he has a membership, so I get in for free once a month. Plus, we get McDonald's That's ice cream awesome. afterwards. We oh. get a cone. It's just, it's that really slaps. good. And I feel like also doing physical activity with your partner is really fun. Plus, like, bouldering is, like, you encourage each other and you help each other out. Because, um, you know, like, I've been doing it longer. And so I kind of, my knowledge has been a lot yeah. better. So I can help you out with different exactly. techniques or how to visualize stuff. Yeah. And vice versa. You can be like, what was that? Like, be like, you, you know better. You you know better. Be like, look at do that. the correct. Be like you know what to do. Map that, that out in your bitch. head. Stupid. So yeah, bouldering is go to. Okay, idea. I'm gonna ask you these ones, and then these are questions because they're for you. For me. Because they're for you. Okay. So so Tyler, what's your favorite movie? Arrival. Why? Hasn't changed. Uh, I have a story. Arrival is a movie about aliens. It's got Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, um, and I can't really say too much about it without spoiling it. Um, but it's basically like these 12 alien ships land on land on Earth in different places around the world. And they're not trying to kill people. They're not trying to hurt people. They're just trying to communicate with the humans on the Earth. So that's what the whole movie's about is like the Amy, you know, the, the woman that Amy Adams plays, she's a philanthropist. Is that the right word? Or a linguist. A linguist. A linguist. A philanthropist. Um, I don't know. What does that mean? She's a linguist, so she's really, really good at languages, and she starts to understand the language, and that's where the story I can't tell comes in because it spoils the movie. Uh, but she learns the language, and 
Uh, it's my favorite movie because like one, it's insanely, insanely good. Um, but two, it's got a music piece called On the Nature of Daylight at the end of it. And it's been my favorite piece of music for eight years. Has never, nothing's ever topped it. So yeah, Arrival, watch it. Watch it. You, yes you, sitting in your chair eating some Cheetos. Watch it, you'll do yourself a favor and it'll give you a really good reality check on life. I listened to that song on my way here. Did you? On my way back here. Yes, I did. It's good, huh? It's so good. I want to choreograph to it really bad. Okay, next question. What's your favorite color? Purple. Okay, would you ever get a tattoo? Yes. What is it gonna be? I'll show you. This is where we. This is where you cut the video. Um, yeah, can do. Okay, back to on to the. I so want to be a newscaster. Sorry, back to what we're doing. The tattoo. tattoo. The tattoo I want to get if it wants to load. Um, it's this. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. So it's from the movie. That's like the language is like the language of the aliens is like circles. And that one specifically means human and I want to get it like right here over my heart. Without the words though. Yeah, without the words because that's cringe. Um, but it looks dope. It means a lot to me and people would be like, damn that shit looks fire. What is that? I'd be like, it's from a movie. You should go see it. Where's Titty? Um, that's a good reminder for me too. Okay, this next question is from a good friend of yours. I know who did that. Um, I know who said this. How did you get so gosh darn handsome? I took notes from him. He taught me. I know who you, I know who sent this. It's a it's it's a threat. It's a promise. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the questions we have for him, because we've been talking for a long time. Two last questions. I'm gonna answer just really really quick because they were funny, and I don't want to disregard their cute little questions. First one is travel to Colombia soon. Yes, if I can when I'm not afford broke. it. When I can afford it. We will, I'm a musician. we will come visit you, homie. We filmed for too long, so it cut out, but um, that question was from Bay, who lives in Colombia because she had to go back home, and I miss her with my whole heart and soul. Next question is, can I date Tylee instead? And this is a fr question from my friend from the dance company, but I need to ask Bay's permission. We can have like a divorced parents kind of situation. I get one week, you get the next. So close. Or like, I can get weekdays, you get weekends. Or no, you'll get Price. weekdays, I get weekends. For the next month, technically you get weekdays. Because <laughs> when I'm be not there. when I'm not around, which you'll know what I mean by that, um, other people won't. When I'm not there, consider yourself with with her. But the second she leaves back to me, sorry. Slay, glad to hear it guys. Okay, this is getting to the end of the video. Last question is what's next for us? And do you want to tell them or should I? Um, so we are gonna we're gonna be moving in together in two months. A month, well, a month, two months. and two weeks. Yeah, I, month I and a half. Month and a half. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of videos that come with it. We're gonna be deep cleaning this place. Um, oh, do, that'll be a fun video. That'll be really good. And we're gonna go to IKEA and yes. get a bunch of stuff. We're saving up to get a big IKEA haul. Um, a lot of furniture plans, a lot of layout plans that are going to change. Like we're going to change the entire living room, change my roommate's bedroom. Should I, maybe, just a note to myself, maybe I'll do like a before and after, like before I moved in and then like after I moved in. Because one of my biggest things too that we've talked about when moving in together is that I'm moving into this apartment and his room, did you already say that, that your roommate's moving My roommate's moving out. His roommate's moving out and I'm moving in. And my biggest thing is I want to be able to change things around and obviously we're gonna make the second bedroom more of like an office space and like a music space for him. So I wanna like change everything around that way I feel like it's more of my space. And I feel like it'd be interesting to get a before and after. Yeah, I'm done. Living room is gonna be sick. She's gonna make, we're gonna put a dance mat for her to do stuff here. I don't and know why I Put the couch in the corner probably. Probably, I don't know, I'm excited. I I'm gonna put it right where my computer is right now. Put the couch there and put the TV against the wall. Facing us. Yeah. So the TV's like right behind that little divot of the hallway. You yeah. I mean? Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to play with it and see what's gonna work. You guys can't it. see it, but yeah, you guys can't see. I don't know why we're talking about it now. 
because you guys can't see anything. No, cut yeah, that, but cut all that. <laughs> no, I think it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> um, but anyways, long story short is we're moving in together. That's the official plan. We're excited. I want to do a lot of different videos, including you know room tours, before and afters. I want to do an unpack with me. I want to do a pack with me. I want to do like a setup. I'm planning to get like a little vanity that I think will be really fun to like do with you guys and do a lot more like get ready with me kind of stuff and a lot more like skincare stuff there, which I think will be fun. Um, and a lot of videos. Them. And I'm, another reason why I also wanted to do this video was because it's coming up so quickly and I want to be able to uh, film videos with him and have you guys already know who he is rather than just be some random guy who's my boyfriend but actually know more about him because he's awesome and he deserves that recognition. Um, but yeah, any last words? Pee pee poo poo. Anyways, that'll be the end of the video. See you guys.